Sarah, let me make myself clear. First of all, don't come on my page with your nonsense. Everything that you've commented, all right, you have not given one scripture precept that actually cross reference into the information that you brought out. Second of all, the name Yeshua is not the Messiah's name. It's Yahweh Shai. We've got lessons proving that. When you understand the Paleo Hebrew, it consists of 22 consonant characters. There is no vowel sounds ending in E, U, or O when you do your due diligent research. Furthermore, I don't care what you are pertaining to your nationality because you went on the record to comment and say that you're Middle Eastern. But when you do your research, there's no such thing as Middle Eastern. That was a political construct made up in the 1800s pertaining to the office of British India because there was a man by the name of Alfred Thayer Mahan who was describing a region between Arabia and Asia. All right. Furthermore, you are what your father is pertaining to Numbers chapter one, verse 18. The pedigree was determined by the house of the fathers. So whatever your father is pertaining to one of the 18 biblical nations, that's what you are. So you will have to dig up to see which biblical nation your father goes back to. But it, for damn sure, there's no, like I said, there's no such thing as Middle Eastern, just like there's no such thing as Black American or African American. How the hell can you be called two different continents? And a lot of people don't know that the continent of Africa was named by a so-called uh, white man who goes by the name of African uh, Africanus, Salakia, forgive me. Africanus was the name, if you actually look it up. And it behooves me because when people don't look up their research, they sound dumb as hell when they come up on people's channels, pages or whatever, spewing nonsense and just running your mouth. So what you need to do, since you claim that you don't follow religion, you just follow whatever the name it is that you gave. You need to apply first Timothy, the second chapter. I suffer not a woman to teach nor usurp authority over the man. Why? Because the most high is not dealing with women. All throughout the scriptures, the Most High tells you, whether it be Revelations 21 and 3, he dwelleth in the tabernacle of men, Proverbs 8 and 4, or Ezekiel the 34th chapter. So you need to go and study, and if you have a husband, you need to lean into your husband and ask questions. So stay off my page. Have a good day.